Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we've got ourselves another round of really cool Toy Monster International Jurassic World figures. However, these are actually a brand new line of figures from Toy Monster International, which I am extremely excited to check out and dive into because it's been a little while since we had something as far as like a brand new line. You know, we've had new captives and stuff like that, of course, but we haven't had a brand new line entirely. And as you can see, these are called Dino Smash and Squish. And there are four different figures, four different eggs. You can see each egg is a different color. You can kind of see the other egg back there, which actually doesn't have the packaging on it, but you can see it back there is a different color than all of the others. And each egg will actually tell you outright what dinosaur is included in the egg. So you can see, if you look over here at the side, we've got a pyroraptor that is in this egg. And you also have some really cool art here on the side, but this art actually on top of just looking awesome, also tells you what figures are contained within. And then of course, you can also look here on the back, it does state four dinos to collect, which means we have a Velociraptor Blue, a Pyroraptor, a T-Rex, and a Carnotaurus in this line from Toy Monster International. So definitely hyped to get a closer look at these guys with you guys. Obviously three of the four eggs here are not open. One egg is, and you can see now that we can uh, take a look at the egg itself without the packaging on it. You've got a pretty nicely detailed egg overall. You have all sorts of cracks and stuff. And what I really like about the egg is the fact that the cracks actually extend from the cracks that are included on the egg to pop the egg open. So it genuinely looks like the egg is hatching. That's really, really cool. And of course, it's the smash and squish, so just smash that open. And now we've got ourselves the T-Rex, and you can see the T-Rex is really quite adorable, actually. And uh, on top of looking adorable, it's kind of like a foam, like a squishy foam. So as you can see, you can squish your T-Rex, hence the smash and squish name for these. So obviously we've got to look at our T-Rex. We'll take the eggs out of here and then we'll break all of these others out. I must say, first of all, I'm really happy to see a Carnotaurus in this line. Even happier to see an absolutely awesome green egg. The color of this egg is fantastic, if you ask me. But uh, again, we'll open these up and smash the egg. Oh, it fell apart before I could even smash it. So we'll get this egg out of here. Our Carnotaurus stood itself up. And we can now see our Carno, who looks absolutely awesome. Love the horns on this one. He's got really big horns, but still sporting that kind of Jurassic World Carnotaurus look. And then we'll smash this egg open, and there's our Pyroraptor, which honestly is beyond epic. I love that Pyroraptor as well. And conveniently for Velociraptor Blue, wouldn't you know, her egg is blue. That's awfully convenient. And also these are Epic Evolution, which you can see right there. Something again to take note of. So the final egg is now broken open. And it is, again, our Velociraptor Blue. So you can see the figures are actually really quite cool. You can see we've obviously, as we already mentioned, got four figures in the line overall. Definitely four very nice species choices, and I don't know which one I would say my favorite is. I'm going to go ahead and say probably that Pyroraptor. It looks awesome. But let's go ahead and jump to a closer look at all of these, and we'll check them out from there. So starting with the very first one that we had opened up, we've got the T-Rex, and you can see the T-Rex. Again, looks pretty adorable. These obviously have that stylized look like you would kind of expect something like this to have while at the same time looking like hatchlings would. You know, you've got like the smaller tail. You can see a pretty decently large head. You can also see that we've got large feet and stuff. So it definitely gives the dinosaur that very baby-like look. When you get nice and close to the figure itself, you can see that we actually have some decent looking texturing to the skin as well, which doesn't surprise me because, it can, again, considering it's a Toy Monster International release, the fact that they have gone ahead and given us at least a decently detailed figure is not shocking whatsoever we also have a nice brownish tone almost like an orangish brown for the t-rex you can see a darker brown there around the eye and then the eye itself has a nice yellowish tone with a black pupil and a white spot to kind of insinuate the eye shine 
And all of the paintwork looks perfect and precise. As you move down, you can see all of the teeth are sculpted out. They are all also painted as well. Again, perfectly precise paintwork. As you look at the other side, again, the eye looks great. Definitely that uh, eye shine actually does look pretty good. You also have some striping running down along the back of the dinosaur. Starts there in the back of the head, moves down toward the tail, and you can see a very nice dark brown striping. As you move down, we have the arms held into the body. You can also see the throat of our T-Rex. And again, pretty darn nice looking detailing. Even on the underside, you can kind of see like uh, creases and stuff, cracks and crevices there in the neck and the skin in the underside of the throat right there looks really cool. The underside coloration does run all the way here through the underside of the T-Rex all the way out onto the tail. And then you can see that the nails for the feet are painted with a nice black don't know if the you can't really see the nails actually for the fingers oh kind of so they're not really painted but you can't really see them too well there is like this little section here uh, on the underside which is kind of interesting I'm not really sure what that is or what it's meant to be but I think it's just to help with the stability of the figure but again it is a pretty cool looking little t-rex and just like the name says they're extremely extremely squishy you can completely scrunch them up and then they form right back out to what they look like in the first place and then, of course, we've got the Carnotaurus, and doesn't he look adorable? You can see that the Carnotaurus looks quite nice as well with the head sculpt and the fine detail. Again, you've got some really nice-looking scale detail, which actually genuinely does kind of remind me of the skin texture of the Carnotaurus from Jurassic World, so that's pretty cool. We can see the eyes painted similarly to what we saw in the T-Rex with that light yellow, a black pupil, and a spot to insinuate eye shine. The pupil's more of a slit-like pupil on the Carno, though. You can also see that we've got a nice brownish tone for the face, a darker variation of color, a darker variation of brown up and over the top, down into the snout, leading back along the jawline, and then kind of leaking down here in the face. We can see the nostrils are sculpted out of course and they're actually highlighted with that lighter brown inside the nostrils we can see the mouth is open partially here and as you move through you can see those adorable little baby like teeth poking out there from the inside of the mouth and of course we also have a lighter tone for the underside of the carnal torus the lower jaw running down along the underside of the belly and again, we have the arms held into the body in a little bit of a different position compared to the T-Rex, but obviously the Carnotaurus should have smaller arms than the T-Rex does, so that makes sense. As you lead down, you can see our very large oversized feet for our Carnotaurus, again giving it the baby-like features. We've got the nails painted with a nice light gray, which is also nice. You can kind of see some scoots running down the toes. And then again, some more decent looking scale detail and everything here moving along the course of the Carnotaurus. We have the darker tones following along the entire upper side that run all the way out onto the tail we also have a few of those dark browns kind of spotting as you move down along and you have the rows of osteoderms that you usually see associated with Carnotaurus and also again see associated with Carnotaurus from Jurassic World moving along the course of the body a little bit of a curve to the tail right there I don't know if it's meant to curve like that or if it's just kind of squished down from being in the egg but it does look adorable and then again you have that light tone moving through the underside of the Carnotaurus. There is a strange seam that runs up through the side of all of these figures. They all have that, but I think that's probably just due to the material they are made with. But again, that is definitely an adorable little Carnotaurus as well, and just like with the T-Rex, squishy as can be, and he's quite deformed and now back again to its original shape. Then we've got Velociraptor Blue looking quite adorable, actually kind of angry. Blue looks super, super disturbed, I guess you could say today. But you can see again, the sculpt-wise, quite nice. The detailing in the face looks pretty darn good. Again, you can really see those scales popping there on the face. And you can even see like kind of larger scales moving along the lower jaw right there. We've got the nostrils sculpted out. There's even like a slight speckling, it appears, on this one, which is something I didn't really see on the other one. Again, the eyes are actually painted with that yellowish tone. Again, again, black pupil and a white spot to give it the eye shine. We have a little bit of variation of color there around the eye leading up just to add a little bit of extra color to the face of blue. I like the fact that she has lips. We don't see the teeth on this one because again, that's exactly how she looks in the film. And one thing that is cool is you see the blue stripe running down, of course. It is the blue stripe outlined with the lighter tone, but the stripe actually stops short of the eye on this side that's exactly how it should look you can see a little bit of striping there moving down through the arm as well as striping moving down through the leg starting in the thigh and then all the way down into the shin we can see the arms again held into the
of the body in a nice natural positioning. We actually have the nails painted on the hands. You can see painted with a light gray. Same deal for the claws on the feet of our raptor. Again, the sickle claw as well, all painted with that nice lighter gray tone. The feet look adorable and super, super chubby. And then as you move back up, you can even see like the muscle definition here in the thigh. We have that blue stripe run all the way out here onto the tail. You also have that lighter tone of the underside there on the lower jaw running along the underside of our raptor and also running all the way out there onto the tail. And if you take a look at the opposing side, you can see, of course, the Velociraptor is standing pretty straightforward, so you're not going to see too much in the way of difference, but you will see that the blue stripe does come up and over and through the eye again, pretty much how you see it in the film. Not exactly as far as the shape goes, but they did capture the fact that that blue stripe is supposed to lead up and through the eye, basically, on this side of the Raptor. So, Velociraptor blue as well is quite adorable. But my favorite is definitely going to have to be this one, as we have the Pyroraptor, and this looks awesome. You can see the sculpt looks very nice in the face, very fine skin texture here in the face, but as you lead up here into the top of the head, you get much like larger, rougher looking skin texture up there. You can see we've got the nostrils sculpted out, the eye again painted with that same yellowish tone, nice black pupil with a spot for the eye shine. You can see the teeth are all sculpted and all painted. Maybe not perfectly placed, but for the most part, they look pretty decent. You can see, again, we've got a grayish tone that kind of runs up from the underside of the neck area, up along the jawline there, well, actually the back of the lower jaw, and then up here around the eye, and then up toward the palate of our Pyroraptor. And then you can see, of course, we get those really vibrant reddish tones, and there's actually a really cool speckling that you can see applied to the reddish tones. Again, you can see here in the feathering in the back of the neck as we have that crest on our Pyroraptor. You see more of those spots down here running along the neck and throat area, and then they continue pretty much through the course of the entire body. You can see a little bit of that extra feathering moving along the back. And of course, I don't expect these to be insanely highly detailed, so you can see how it's kind of smoothed over in a lot of the areas as far as the feathering goes. That's not exactly surprising. Again, I don't expect an award winning sculpt for something like this so they're pretty much exactly as I would expect them to be. You can see the plumage running along the course of the arm here for our Pyroraptor does look awesome. You can also see that we have a darker reddish tone for the feathers out there on the end of the arm again brighter running down the arm itself. You can see the uh, grayish tone like a light grayish tone for the hands of our Pyroraptor. We also have a lighter grayish tone for the nails. You can see a darker variation of gray that kind of follows along and breaks up the gray from the reddish tones. And that looks really nice as well. We can actually see the darker red running along here. There's a lot of paintwork on this actually. And then as you move down into the feet, again, the feet are painted with that light gray that we see for the primary skin textured areas. You can see the nails again painted with that light gray, similar tone to what we saw on Velociraptor Blue. And then we lead out here into the tail again with that grayish tone following along, the reddish tones here in the back and the feathered areas. And we have some really nice tail feathers out here for our Pyroraptor, again, ending in that darker red, which is significantly darker than the brighter red we have moving through the majority of the body. So definitely another really cool figure. And again, very, very squishy like they all are, but that is absolutely awesome looking. Definitely my favorite of the group. As far as a size goes, you can see they're pretty much all the same size. So we'll only measure one. Looks like maybe slightly taller than the others would be the Pyroraptor. We'll bring that one out and get a size. You're looking at about four and three quarter inches, maybe a little over actually, or heading toward 12 and a half centimeters and then for a length about five and three quarter inches or around the 14 and a half actually more like 15 maybe yeah i'd say about 15 centimeters somewhere in that vicinity for a size comparison we have a comparison with a mattel velociraptor and dilophosaurus to help give you an idea of the size and the fact that these guys are pretty decently sized and then when it comes to other captives here is the supersized carnotaurus as well as a standard sized 
Triceratops just to further help give you an idea of the size of these very, very cool smash and squish dinos. So I am definitely excited to see another new line coming out from Toy Monster International. I think as a whole, Toy Monster International has been responsible for some of the most fun Jurassic Park and Jurassic World collectibles that we have had in years, and I am consistently impressed by everything that they release. So having this new line of figures is you know, pretty much just the icing on the cake on top of the captives. And I would love to see them continue to do this with more and more figures as well as continue to release other new lines. I would love to see more from them. Maybe even larger articulated dinosaurs at some point would be something that I would absolutely love to see from Toy Monster International. But these smash and squish dinos are also really fun. Again, I can see kids loving them for sure. But even as an adult collector, I think they're definitely worth picking up having really cool squishy hatchling versions of Jurassic World dinos. The Velociraptor Blue, you know, pretty much has the likeness of Blue kind of in super, super tiny baby form, but considering this Blue just hatched from the egg, makes sense that it would have such a super tiny look to it. The Carnotaurus as well is quite adorable, definitely has kind of that exaggerated look, especially with the larger horns and stuff, but also again, those baby-like features, that is kind of the point of the figure, but also again, really nicely done, and I even like the fact that the skin texture in my opinion resembles what you would see on the Carnotaurus from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And the T-Rex is also really fun. Again, having the uh, exaggerated look like all of the others have, maybe even a little bit more exaggerated than some of the others, but still really nicely sculpted, nicely painted, and again, looking adorable. But my favorite is definitely the Pyroraptor. I think the Pyroraptor looks awesome, if you ask me, and also sports a ton of paintwork, like an impressive amount of paintwork on something like this. So again, four really cool figures, definitely another really cool line from Toy Monster International. So if you are interested in grabbing these for yourself, head to your local Walmart because that is exactly where you can find them. And of course, grab yourself a few and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.